Hi, Shane Bruce here. I'm coming at you with a CPAP exhalation valve pack, I suppose you'd call it. Hey, you get these very expensive, it's a $100 mask basically. The CPAP machine, I just started one first time a couple days ago. I realized uh, it's not the first time I've been handed something by those trying to help that's more dangerous than not having it. I get this full face mask because I'm a mouth breather. I mean, with a little O2 training through the nostril, it could be a nose breather, but this is what I got. So, full mask. And it has inhalation ports up here on the uh, nozzle. See these little ports? These are inhalation ports. So I can breathe in. Even if this tube is closed. I can breathe in. But what I can't do is breathe out. Now what this basically machine means is, is it, when this is connected to a CPAP machine, I'm pushing my exhalation back down this tube against that machine, right? I might even fill this whole tube up. Again and again of CO2, what I exhale. The oxygen runs out, even if there's oxygen hooked to the machine, this thing's a death trap as it is. Understand? This thing will kill you. It will kill you. Those medical suppliers will kill you with this. Because what you're doing, if you use this mask, is breathing your own exhalation again and again. I probably did it for 10 minutes. I probably killed a few thousand brain cells using this thing. It's stupid because I didn't check the exhalation port. Now, if you got a mask that does have an exhalation port that you can put across your you hand, you know, near the port, and when you breathe out, you would feel air coming out only when you breathe out. <sighs> this doesn't happen with this machine at all. This was stupid. This is uh, either a planned attempt by the AMA or some medical fallop of mistraining on the way by respiratory specialists. I'm in East Tennessee. Everybody's stupid in East Tennessee. I got stupid by the moment I use this thing. Seriously. So, we need a hack for this, right? Because I'm sitting here at home. It's a Saturday. I, I, I don't want to go to sleep if I'm not breathing at night. I woke up and couldn't breathe for 40 seconds because my lung had completely... Lungs had just... I don't know what had happened. Deflated or something. <clears throat> for 40 seconds, I couldn't breathe in. So, what to do about this? Well, before I got the CPAP, because I wasn't waiting for the doctors, I have this nifty little... adult size disposable CPR machine. Now, you get a filter or something for a CPAP machine, it's 100 to $400 depending, okay? I mean, anything you get, this, this little nozzle right here probably costs 40 or 50 bucks if you need to replace it. This adult CPR thing where you take the squeeze and do the CPR thing, $9.95 on Amazon, right? You put it in here. You reinflate your lungs. I didn't want another 40 seconds of walking around. This, however, does have an exhalation port. When I breathe in, I hear air coming out of here. All the air I breathe comes up the side thing, unless I'm getting pressure. When I'm getting pressure, I can't breathe out. So as long as the pressure coming in is greater than the pressure I'm breathing out, this thing doesn't work. That's why it's called an exhalation port. It only works when I'm exhaling. Pressing is, is whatever pressure. Now this is a whole lot more pressure than you get from your CPAP machine. This is instant lung inhalation if you need it. So I like this little bag. I mean this little CPR type thing. But I want this exhalation port between me and my mask, right? So what I do is I rip this little bag thing off. I don't even know what the bag is for. I toss it. I take, and I, I was trying to wear this 22 millimeter thing down to a certain point, taking pliers and breaking off. They've super glued this. They don't want this cheap exhalation port added to your machine because the ones out there are $400 or so. There's a couple for like 40 or 50 bucks, but this is $9.95 with free delivery. So I ripped all this down. And all I have to do is yank this off. And I want to add this mask 
just because it's got head straps, to this. Presto bingo, I have an exhalation port. Kind of nifty, right? It's not very pretty. It's, it's going to be big and bulky. Now, you could cut this bag off as well and just have the exhalation port, but I like having this little thing. I mean, I, I got this thing specifically so I can do my own thing. So, I take one of these, an extra one. Don't use the only one you got because then nothing is going to work. Unless you got the mask only, it's a depth trap, and you don't want to use this until you do something like this. You take this. I cut off the support. Boom. I add one part to this. The other part to that. It's a little bit of overlap. You don't want to use a whole tube because you just be breathing into the tube. You probably could just use some uh, duct tape here actually. But a little connector like this, half and half. Not the most stable thing in the world. Take this tube, toss it. Take this other tube. Now for this other tube to fit, again, you need an adapter. It's not going to fit right away. But it turns out that the oxygen kit going on the CPAP is an adapter, in case you don't have one, another one on hand, that will fit into the bottom of this. And this will fit over it. It's not supposed to, but it will. And you have a functioning respiratory pack. I can take into this. I can breathe in. It's got the exhalation port and inhalation ports. So even if I block this, uh, got to work for a better connection on this thing. Some duct tape probably. I can breathe in and breathe out using the duct supports. Now I'll probably cut this off eventually and connect the machine straight to this thing and just have this little respirator exhalation valve here but that's it uh, for $9.95 you can put an exhalation port don't use these masks that don't have an exhalation port without it because it's a death trap all right thanks bye so here's the setup all complete with the oxygen coming in the CPAP thing Red and blowing at 5 uh, milligrams of H2O pressure. And honestly, I get a little hot line ahead to use this. It takes a lot of effort, more than you want to usually to breathe out through this exhalation port. But it's infinitely better than breathing your own exhalation over and over again, right? And it, you'll be able to hear when I'm breathing out, it makes kind of a little sound when I uh, exhale, kind of a sound. And uh, through uh, most part of the exhalation. So obviously I had to cut the bag off, but I had to use a little bit of duct tape uh, just to hold it on there. It fits, but it slides a little loose. Uh, so there it is. $9 refit, but I feel a little sweaty and red blowing it. It's like blowing a trumpet a little bit. Uh, maybe that'll build some lung strength back up. Mine's from arsenic poisoning from the BP's weapon of mass destruction of the uh, deeperized oil spill. Weaponized it and dropped it down. Microbes went ahead and made heavy metal rings. I was one of the 50 people in the Appalachian National Forest and got the heavy metal poison source on the body. 
We're out playing in the rain. Not enough sense to come in and out of the rain. Sure, great. But no one was expecting heavy metal rain. Anyways, um, welcome to try it. it. Might be better than what you have. Just make sure that you can inhale and exhale through some type of ports and you're not completely depending on the machine. You should be able to inhale and exhale. And there should be two separate things to do that with. In other words, you're just wasting time. Or worse, breathe your own exhalation, which doesn't work. I mean, it'd be like, I think they call it hopping. Where you just take a bag and hop your own stuff or whatever. Anyways, you would probably pass out eventually. Uh, the inhalation ports might put enough uh, O2, but basically it's giving you readings to increase oxygen after a while. Uh, it might be an AMA scan, terrorism, medical fraud, hand in hand, and more people. So you gotta be more and more careful these days. Alright, Jane Bruce. Uh, I don't know if CPAP's ever enjoyable, but. At least it's a tad bit better. All right.